Welcome your tens to this video. Now this is an optional video, so if you are watching this, it means that you are having a going to have a go at perhaps some of the challenging questions um, this semester, which is really, really wonderful, and I do applaud you for that. Um, to start off with, I'm going to go back to one of the questions that I got you to skip in one of, an, uh, one of the earlier exercises. And the reason for doing that was because you needed to be able to rationalise the denominator, which of course is something that we've only just learnt to do. So you can actually go ahead and try this one if you like. Um, it might be a good idea to pause it and have a go yourself. Uh, and then of course press play um, and then you can see if you're on the right track or perhaps you can maybe just see the next line so that you know what to do first. Um, so with this first one, as you can see, we've got 252 and 294 um, and they can be simplified. So we want to do that to begin with. So this first one here, when you do that, you'll actually get 36 by 7. This one here is 49 by 6. And what we're going to do with this here, this fraction, is we'll know that this is the same as root 1 over root 6, like so. Now, of course, root 1 is just going to be 1, so that's just going to be 48 on the top there. But what we, can, what we need to do is really rationalise this denominator down here. So what I'm going to do is multiply the top and the bottom by root 6. Um, and as I go, I'll also clean this up a little bit. So this is going to be 6 root 7. It's going to be 7 root 6. And this is going to be 48 by root 6 over root 6 by root 6. Okay, so we're just about there. This is obviously, I'll just leave this as is for now. We can't simplify this any further. They're not like thirds. We're going to have 48 root 6, and this is on 6. So as you can see, we can simplify that there, because 48 on 6 is 8. So 6 root 7 minus 7 root 6 minus 8 root 6. And of course, now we do have some like so. So we've got minus, uh, negative 7 minus 8. 6 root 7 would be 15 root 6. And there's our first one done. Now there is another question just after this one. So 4L, I'll put that in the extension section that you might want to try as well. But there's an example of how rationalising the denominator allows us to simplify an expression such as this one here. Moving on to the next question. Now we have done uh, some questions like this already, um, but just a little as I guess a little bit of a review, but also I just want to highlight one particular step that I want you to keep in mind. So here we've got 4 on root 5 minus 2. So of course I need to multiply this bottom or the denominator here by root 5 plus 2. So that's going to allow me to use the difference of two squares. So root 5 plus root 2. And of course the reason we do that is because when you um, use the difference of two squares with thirds, it is going to eliminate those square roots, and that's what we want to do. We don't want that third on the or as the denominator. So on the bottom here, I'm going to have root five minus root two by root five plus root two. Oops, that looks a little bit messy there. All right, now with this one, I don't want you to expand this out. The reason is it's already got the common factor out the front. And if I've got a number on the bottom here that <clears throat> will also allow me to, perhaps if, it, um, if it's got a factor of four, it'll allow me to actually simplify this really, really easily. So just leave the four out the front like that. Uh, you can just write it like this. Only ever expand it if you need to. So if you've got another fractional term over here and then we, we get the denominators the same and then we add the numerators, then of course I'd expand it. But when you don't need to, like this, best just to leave it as is. Now this is difference of two squares. So that's going to be root 5 all squared minus root 2 all squared. So of course that is 5 minus 2. So we're left with 4 root 5 plus root 2 on three. And so there's our second one 
there. So you will be able to practice this obviously, but I do want to show you some more uh, difficult ones. So that one wasn't too bad. Here's one here, it's got the two terms on top as well. So again, with this one, I'm going to multiply and just to save on space, I'm going to do the first line up here. I'll just do it in a separate colour. I'm actually going to multiply top and bottom by three root two minus root five. Reason is I want difference of two squares on the bottom there. Okay, next line. As you can see, I've actually got three root two minus five, three root two minus five. So I've got three root two minus five squared in effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that little shortcut, which is a squared, this is my a term, squared, minus 2a by b plus b squared. Because I know that that, that um, particular expression squared will always expand to this here. On the bottom, of course, I've got difference of two squares as that's, that's the reason I, I chose to multiply by the 3 root 2 minus root 5 because it allows me to do this. And now I need to simplify. So this is going to be 3 squared by 2, so 9 by 2. This is going to be 2, 3, 6 and 2 by 5 is 10 so it's going to be 6 root 10 and that there of course is 5. On the bottom, I'm going to have 18 minus 5. So we just clean it up now. 18 plus the 5. 18 minus the 5. And you can leave it like that. When you are correcting these, you're having a look. You might see it written like this. 1 on 13 by 23 minus... 6 root 10 and of course these are the same thing so when you multiply this out you are going to get the 23 minus 6 root 10 on 13. So either of these two answers are fine, uh, just beware that they are the same thing and you might see it sometimes written like this on the right. Okay, so about halfway I want to go through three more with you if you would like. And here's a trickier one again here. All right, so with this one, I am going to have to do a few things because you'll see I've got two term denominator with thirds on the bottom here, same on the other side. So again, just to save on space, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Actually, no, I'll just do it all together. Um, on this term, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root two plus root three so that I get the difference of two squares on that side. So on the top I'm actually going to have root two plus root three squared because I'm multiplying by the same uh, bracket I guess you could call it. On the bottom I'm going to have root two minus root three by root two plus root three. So that's the factor that I multiplied by. Uh, root 2 minus root 3 this time is going to be all squared because that is what I'm multiplying top and bottom by here so that I can get, again, difference of two squares on the bottom. So that's what was originally on the bottom there, root 2 plus root 3, but I'm multiplying by this minus root 3. There we go. All right, so again, we want to clean this up. The, the denominators are going to be really easy because that's difference of two squares. These ones are a little bit longer but we'll start with them. So I'm going to use my a squared. Remember we did this when we did special products, plus two root two by root three. So that's two by a b plus root three squared. So that's what I've got on that side. On the bottom, I'm going to have root two squared minus root three squared. You see we're going to get a negative there, but that's okay. Plus, on this side, I'm going to have root 2 squared. That's my a squared. This is minus, so it's minus 2ab. 
and I'll just smooth that out of the way. This one's a long one. And to finish off with plus b squared, so that's plus root 3, all squared. On the bottom, I'm going to have, just like the other side, root 2 all squared minus root 3 all squared. Okay, hopefully I don't run out of space here. All right, on the top we have 2 plus 2 root 6 plus 3. It's going to be 2 minus uh, 3, so negative 1. I'll just put it in a bracket for now just so I don't lose that little negative. Next one is going to be 2. This is going to be oops, minus 2 root 6 uh, plus 3 over the same thing, negative 1. All right, so when you've got a negative uh, on your denominator here, that just means that this whole expression here is going to be negative. So it's like putting the negative out the front of your fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and put the negative out the front. But as I do that, <coughs> I'm going to sort of expand in the same step. And I'm just about running out of room, so I'm going to have to draw a little bit smaller here. So what I'm going to be left with, if I make this expression negative, negative 2 minus 2 root 6 minus 3. On this side, the same things happen. So it's going to be minus 2 plus 2 root 6 minus 3. And I think I'm just going to have enough space here because if you have a look at this, I've got minus 2 root 6 plus 2 root 6. That's going to cancel out. So I've got negative 2, minus 3, minus 2, minus 3, and I should get negative 10. So it's amazing how such a large expression can simplify to just one integer, negative 10. But there you see, it can be done. All right, second last one now, uh, just a little bit of Pythagoras this time, uh, this time using two terms. So Pythagoras, of course, is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And you can see here we're looking for the uh, length of the hypotenuse, which we call c. I'm just going to rewrite this using the pronumerals and the terms that I've got. So this is actually x squared equals 3 minus root 2 all squared plus uh, 3 plus root 2 all squared. Now I do apologise, there's a bit of noise in the background. It's because um, I'm right near the locker bay, so I do apologise about that. Um, I hope you can hear me still. Okay, so this first term is going to be 3 squared, um, just this one here. That one, just I'm circling it right now. 3 squared minus 2 by 3 by root 2. Again, this is my special products, little shortcut. You can see how here it's very useful when you've got lot, a lot going on. Plus 3 squared plus this time, as I've got a plus in that expression, 3 by root 2. And that's plus root 2 all squared. So just expanded those two brackets. Um, and now I will simplify. So here I've got minus 2 by 3 by root 2 and plus 2 by 3 by root 2. So that's going to cancel out. So what I've got here is 9 plus 2, 11, and then I've got 9 plus 2 again. So I've got 22. And to finish off, x is therefore equal to root 22. Now, if I could simplify that, I would. So I'm just going to say simplify if possible. With this one, I... I can't any further, 4, 9, 16 aren't going to go into 22, so I'll leave it as is. If you've got a unit, do make sure that's expressed as well. So say it was centimetres, I would write centimetres, so root 22 centimetres, but at the moment that's all I can do, so I'll leave it as is. Um, and I've got one more to show you for this video. It is um, a longer one, so I've split the page in two. Um, just so that I'll be, hopefully be able to fit it in, but we'll see. Okay, to begin with, we need to, if I just move this over a little bit, I know I'll leave as is. Okay, I need to multiply by the correct term 
to make sure that I get difference of two squares here. So for this term here, that's going to be 2 root 5 minus 2. So I've got 2 root 5 plus 2 by 2 root 5 minus 2. So that's difference of two squares there. I'm going to do the same on this side. 2 plus 2 root 3 on 2 minus 2 root 3, 2 plus 2 root 3. There we go. All right. The next thing, well, I'm running out of battery, so I'm going to have to hurry up. Uh, next one. So I'll leave this on the top, 2 root 5 minus 2. That can stay as is. That's fine. Whoops. Difference of 2 squared, so 2 root 5 all squared minus 2 squared. You can just write 4, of course. This one, 2 plus 2 root 3 over 2 squared this time minus 2 root 3 squared. All right. Let's continue. I've got 2 root 5 minus 2. On the bottom here, I've got 4 by 5 is 20. 20 minus 4 is 16. Uh, on this side, I've got that's 2 root 3. On the bottom here, I've got, well, 4 minus 4 by 3 is 12. So 4 minus 12, I've got negative 8 there. So all I'm going to do here with this negative is make sure in my next line I change this to a negative. That means that this whole fraction, therefore, uh, is being subtracted. Uh, so on this side, I'm just going to leave the 2 root 5 minus 2 on 16 minus. Uh, I'll just leave it as is for now. So above is the same as what I've written below. Now I need the same denominator. Now luckily this one works out pretty well. This term on the left is going to stay as is. But I'm going to multiply this one on this side by 2. Top and bottom, bottom I'm going to multiply by 2. So that I've got a denominator of 16. Now what we need to do is uh, just expand that one out. Uh, just so that I can then do this subtraction. I'm going to go up and go to this side now. So I've got um, 2 root 5 minus 2. I'm going to put the whole thing over 16 this time. Minus, so down here, 2 by 2 is 4. And 2 by 2 root 3 is 4 root 3. All of that is on 16. And now I'll complete, I'll simplify the numerator here. So 2 root 5, there's no other like terms, that stays as is. Uh, negative 2 minus 4, negative 6, minus 4 root 3. Over 16, like so. Now, if you can take a common factor out, so we've got 2, 6, and 4, and we've got 16 there. So if I take this out, like so, oops. And then, of course, I've got 1 on 8. Now, this can be done in less steps. I've just done this, um, sort of done it in, in more steps so that I don't go, I guess, too quickly. So you can see how this a question like this can be done. This is obviously a pretty, tri a pretty challenging one. Um, but, of course, we do want you to be challenged as well. So there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to do something like this. I'm confident that you would. Um, so do have a go at at least a couple of these before you do do the test um, in a couple of days' time. So thank you so much for listening, ladies. I'll leave it there um, and I'll see you in class shortly.